Welcome back to another weekly makeup basket. Today I'm going to share with you the products that I chose for this week. They have a purpose, they have a meaning, they have something why they're in this weekly makeup basket. So if you're interested in knowing all the products that I chose to use exclusively for the week, then just keep watching. First thing I want to share with you is the primer and I'm going to be using a BB cream for a primer because I want to use this BB creams on the day that I'm not going to use foundation and I can use it as a primer and as a BB cream. I'll tell you what it is. It's the Too Faced Tinted Beauty Balm. This is a multi-benefit skincare makeup and it has SPF 20 which is really nice for this time of the year. This is in the color Beach Glow and I think I looked for it in the Too Faced website and I couldn't find it. Uh, it's a really nice color. It's like it has some shimmer, but I think it's especially for this time of the year, it's really nice. Um, that's the color right there. I'm gonna blend this so you can see how luminous this gets. And I love to have like a luminous primer underneath the foundation that I'm gonna share with you. And for the days that I don't really wanna use foundation, this by itself, it really works. It has medium coverage. You have to apply you know a little bit more of product than you would do with a regular foundation but you can get like a medium coverage and a very glowy look that i'm into it right now the next product it's a foundation this is the nyx not nyx but elf hd cream foundation that it's oil free this is in the project the 10 products that i want to finish for october the 10th I will do an update right after this video and you're gonna see it this Thursday. So hopefully uh, you can see how much I've been working on this foundation. You can see the progress. I'm really proud of myself. I've been using it with different primers, different things to see how this works. And I've been enjoying it. It's kind of heavy. So whenever I don't wanna, you know, kind of heavy look, then I'm gonna be using my Too Faced one. For powder, I'm gonna be using something new to my collection. This is the City Color HD Powder. I have one by e.l.f. Um, it's bigger and it's in the black matte container. I'm not a fan of that powder, so I'm really eager to try this one. I have another like this powder by Tarte, so I'm gonna be comparing it with the um, elf one and the tart and see what the differences are I got this in a kit I'll share what else came in that kit in just a minute for concealers I have two the first one is the N NYX HD concealer in the color beige this is a really nice color a really nice match for me especially uh, in this time of the year that I'm darker um, I think it goes really well and kind of highlights um, the under eye area Having said that, it's getting really weird to work with. So what I'm gonna be doing is for covering my dark circles, I'm gonna apply this Stowaway Creaseless Concealer. I did a first, not a first impression, but a review on a whole set that I got from this company. I tell you the good, the bad, everything about this products in a little demo. So if you wanna check that out, I'll leave that in the description box. And Basically, this has great coverage, so I'm gonna combine these two products and hopefully that will work for me. I'll let you know in my casual Friday. Then for my eye primer, I'm gonna be using this one. This is by Lorac. This is the behind the scenes primer and I got this, I think it was one with my Lorac Pro Palette. Yes, I think that's what it was that came in. And I don't know why, but I always forget I have this. So. And then I have my NYX um, Jumbo Eye Pencil. I don't know why I want to say other names for the products today. This is in the color Milk. And I've been using this on top of my regular primer. I always forget to use this, or I used to forget about using this. And now since I have it in that project, I've been using it every single day, and I can totally see the difference. So, and then I have two eyebrow products. The first one is the Benefit Gimme Brow. I think this is in the dark brunette. No, it's medium deep. And this is for whenever I'm in a hurry. It's really nice for that. And also I'm working on a full review on it. So I still need to use it just a little bit more. I'm almost, you know, 100% sure what I think about it. And then I also have this Anastasia Deep Brow Pomade in the color Ebony. Uh, once again, this is one of my favorite products. And I'm trying to finish it by October the 10th. If I don't finish, I won't be too mad. But it's kind of changing consistency. So I want to make sure I really get 
you know, my money's worth. Then for eyeliners, I have three. The first one is the Essence Gel Eyeliner in Midnight in Paris. It's getting dry, it's getting hard to work with, so I'm gonna add a couple more things. This is another gel eyeliner. This is in the color Blue Black. I got this in an Ipsy bag, and I'm gonna kind of combine it with my Essence Gel Eyeliner. And then finally for eyeliners, I have this Rimmel Scandalize in the color Nude, and this is all I want to have in my waterline. I feel like if I apply something dark around this time of the year, it needs to work perfectly because otherwise it's gonna pile in my inner corner and if I want to clean it, I usually make a mess. So I'm not about to worry about that this week. So for mascaras, I have two. The first one is the Benefit The Real. This is a small size that I got in my Ipsy bag. And I'm opening a brand new one. This is by The Balm. And it's called What's Your Type Black Mascara. And it's supposed to give you bold, massive, and defined lashes. So we'll see how this works for me and if I have to mix them, if I can use the, the balm one by itself. You know, I'm gonna see how this works and let you know. I got this mascara with my The Balm Nude Dude at Kohl's. If you wanna see swatches of that palette, I'll link that video down below. But this came included with that kit. The other thing that was included with the HD powder by City Colors is this trio or this contouring palette. It doesn't have a name, so I'm guessing this is like a general or universal color. It has the contour, the bronzer, and the highlighter, so I'm not going to get any of you know, I'm not going to add any more of these products. This is going to be it for this week. I'm going to try to use it lightly to see for an everyday kind of thing. I'm going to try to do a deep contour and see how it works, how long it lasts. I mean, this is something that I need to try. I got both of these products with a small kabuki brush for $5.99 at Ross. So if you haven't checked your Ross and you were interesting, interested in trying some city color products they have a lot i think they repackage most of them correct me if i'm wrong but and that's why most of the products you can find them at ross and i thought this was pretty cool i heard i heard good things about this brand then for blushes i have two one is the tarte uh, cheek stain in the color muse i'm gonna i'm gonna try to do a swatch it's like flying away from my hands and and that's what it looks like it's very i don't know it's pale but it's very illuminating and smells like lemon i don't know i really enjoy this especially around this time of the year and then on top of that i'm gonna apply this illuminating face highlighter i said i'm not gonna use another highlighter but this but i'm gonna use this as a blush i think that pink illuminators or highlighters don't work for me so I'm gonna try to apply it on top of the Tarte one I mean it's gonna show up or it's showing up white but in my cheeks and my fingers and in the swatch in real life it's a really pale pink color and it does give you a little bit of shimmer so I'll see how this works I'll let you know then for eyeshadows I have my naturally pretty palette I have um, an update that I need to do a long time ago. If you haven't watched my latest videos, I've been kind of uh, really, really busy at school with the kids and with the soccer season tryouts and stuff. So I wasn't able to record videos at all lately. And that's why I had like a week and a half that I was kind of lost from everywhere. So I will do the update and you're gonna see it this week and I'll give you some, I don't know, thoughts on the whole process and the whole panning palette thing. Um, I'll give you my two cents on it. Then I'm gonna add some colors to this palette as well. I have three other things that I want to add. The first one is the Mica Beauty Shimmering Powder. This is in the color Herlequin. I got this in my Ipsy and I'm gonna try to do a swatch right here. I think that this is kind of messy and that's why I don't reach for it but at the same time I haven't been doing much green eye looks lately and I kind of feel like doing them and then also I have this MAC single eyeshadow in the color grain I run out of my lighter shades on this palette or the ones that I like to use whenever I want a really light look so this is what I've been using instead and I like it I quite like it so 
that's gonna be added to this week too and then I also have this single eyeshadow by Wet n Wild in the color brulee I think yeah creme brulee and I'll do a swatch but this is matte and I love to use this to blend my eyeshadows or blend it into my brow bone. I don't have anything matte and this light in the palette. I'm just kind of running out of shades from the palette already. So I think I need to add something extra to make it work. And finally, I have some lip products. Um, three of these products I have in the project of products I want to finish by October 10th so I'm not going to go into detail about these products I just want to show you some swatches so you can see um, the theme colors for this week the first one is the Tarte Lip Surgeons in very summery color orange that I love I also have another lip stain this is by Revlon and it's in the color honey it's a very nice nice mauvey pink and then i have this wet and wild lipsticks and lipstick in the color 521 i don't know why it pulls so much out but that's the last one right here and then i'm gonna add a lip gloss this is creme brulee yeah by nyx i don't know why this is not my favorite formula i know a lot of people love it so uh i decided to pull it out and just I don't know kind of make it work that's the last one and I have today I have the wet and wild one I have the Revlon one and then on top I have the color creme brulee so, finally I have a cheek and lip stain this is by tints and sass by Elizabeth Mott I quite like all the products I got from Elizabeth Mott through Ipsy I went to their website they don't have that much and I have most of the products that they you know sent through Ipsy and I don't know I just feel like I'm more into this brand but I can't find a lot of things in it so this is one of the things I really like from the brand I like to use this on my lips I like to use this on my cheeks and I quite enjoy it so what I'm gonna be doing is just use it as um, something whenever I'm in a hurry if I don't have the time to use it or if I'm too busy using these other four products, then I'll probably move move it to the next weekly makeup basket. So anyways, that was it. My kids finally um, got off school, so I feel like right now I can do a lot more. Uh, the last month of school has been so busy. I had to go to, you know, I have her kids, so I have four end of the year parties. Uh, we had... We also had field trips that my kids, my younger kids wanted me to go with them. We had uh, camps like a two day for my older boys and I don't know, soccer tryouts. It's been crazy. Honestly, it's been so crazy. So I needed to take some time off. I didn't plan it. I thought I could manage it, but I couldn't. So, so anyways, that's my update on why I haven't been uploading videos. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just just busy and you know if you're a mom you know how much time your kids take sometimes i want to take a shower at night and i can't even do that because everybody's looking for something somebody has a headache some you know something it's up so i feel like i don't know it takes so much time out of your day that by the end of the day i'm just so tired that i didn't feel like filming or even editing or anything like that so anyways i'm back um you'll see new videos this week and I hope you stay with me. Thanks for watching, guys. And remember, if you want to see the update for my Panda Palette Challenge, it's going to be up on Saturday. If you want to see the update for the Finish 10 by October the 10th, that is going to be up on Thursday. I have a Mary Kay Wednesday, and I have a comparison for two concealers tomorrow. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. All the way to ya. Not on